So we've decided to review a video editing category that includes four major softwares, After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve and Foundry Nuke. Now on our website, we have this listed. We have 16 different builds in these four categories. Whether you're an average guy who's getting started or a seasoned industry professional, we will recommend the best build according to your use case. Now starting off with our video editing category, starting off with the industry standard tool for animation and VFX, After Effects. <laughs> Your CPU is key for After Effects. It's more important than the GPU for overall performance. What you really need is best single core performance. Don't just look at the clock speed or cores. Single or multi-core performance can vary even for CPUs with the same clock speed and core count. Which is why we test different CPUs with Adobe's multi-frame rendering. A good CPU can really speed things up, making your choice even more crucial. Now VRAM is like the elbow room for it. After Effects. The more you have it, the better it handles multitasking, like multi frame rendering, file premium. Now, a PC build on our website category page would be Snyder. Now, specs are on your screen. It's an i7 14700K with RTX 4070 Ti. It's a brilliant combo to get started. Next up is Premiere Pro, which is widely loved by video editors for its ease of use interface and robust optimization. Adobe Premiere Pro's performance is optimized by higher clock speeds for smoother playback and single thread tasks, and by higher core counts for multi thread tasks like exporting and multi frame rendering. A balanced system with a capable CPU and GPU, sufficient RAM, and fast storage delivers the best kind of overall performance. Now to get started, we'd recommend one of our custom builds, Hitchcock and Coppola. I know the movie references, yeah? So these have i9 4900K 4080 and 5975WX with 4080 respectively. Both are great options for faster render times, faster previews and GPU accelerated effects. The next category we have is DaVinci Resolve, one of the most used softwares in the film industry for various reasons, color grading of raw footage and even at times sound design. Now DaVinci Resolve leverages multi-core CPUs for various tasks. A high core count can improve performance in areas like rendering, transcoding, processing multiple effects simultaneously. Many GPU accelerated tasks in DaVinci Resolve such as noise reduction, resolution scaling, fusion effects benefit from having more VRAM which allows for faster processing and reduced rendering times. DaVinci also benefits greatly from multi-GPU setups. Now from our category, you can go to Fusion with RTX 4070 Ti and 4700K. This combination ensures that both the graphical and processing demands of the software are met, enabling smoother playback, faster rendering and more efficient handling of tasks. Coming up next is Foundry Nuke. Now this software is a top pick in post-production known for its outstanding VFX color grading, both 2D and 3D rendering and compositing. It focuses on high quality and a wide range of tools, makes it ideal for pros needing all-round visual effects and seamless 2D 3D integration. For the best performance in Foundry Nuke, choose a CPU with strong single core performance. However, if you're dealing with particle effects, opt for a CPU with many many more cores. For this, we'd recommend our category's custom build called Interstellar. I mean, you know, all the movie references flying around with a deadly combo of 4070 Ti and i7 14700K. These two create a robust setup for Nuke thanks to its significant amount of VRAM. Whew! Coffee, coffee English okay, everyone. Now that's the roundup of the best video editing software and their ideal setup. Whether you're starting out or a pro, we hope this guides you to build the perfect setup from our website's video editing category. And if you're looking for custom builds for video editing or anything else, there are categories such as this on our website which will help you build a good build or a great build according to your use case. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned to the MVP Insight for more expert reviews and tech related topics. Until next time, thank you for watching. Cheers.